Hey, this is Chad Pullins, lead pastor here at Crossroads Church. I wanted to take just a, a couple of moments and share some thoughts with you um, today. It was an interesting weekend here at Crossroads. Um, just a, a brief snapshot on, on Saturday, we had some folks that helped to feed like 500 people. On Sunday, with our regular rhythm of things on Sunday morning, probably 20, 25, 30 people um, just helping to set up stuff at the school and serve and create that environment take down. Right after um, worship on Sunday, we had a big group come here. This is a property we're developing, and it's amazing to me the work that got done in this place on Sunday afternoon. I mean, probably two days of work all got done Sunday afternoon. Sunday evening, there was another group of folks that fed some homeless um, folks here in our community. Um, people at times will often ask, you know, why, why do people do that? Why do people serve like that? And I think it's a real important point for us to look at. And I think that the, the thing that drives um, people to want to be a part of a community of faith and, and what God's doing through that community of faith is how they view themselves. Do they see themselves as family or do they see themselves as, as volunteers? And often, folks will see themselves in a particular way, whether it's family or volunteers, based upon how the community of faith treats and values them, pretty much beginning you know, with, with the leadership, I think. And there's, there's a real temptation to view people as objects, as, as objects to get things done that that we need to get done and whenever that happens um, people always see themselves as volunteers uh, if you view yourself as an object uh, that the organization the community of faith the church or whatever it may be needs to get something done then you're just a kind of a volunteer but yet if if we see ourselves as a part of the family then at that moment we want to be a part of what the family's doing and so all of our time and talent and treasure that's invested into the family is not because the organization needs us, but it's because we're a part of this unit. We want to be a part of what the family is doing. I think one of the struggles in the church in our culture today is that most churches have a, have a DNA um, that treats people like objects. And one of the things that churches battle is volunteerism, where people do the least amount possible to get by. However, if we look at the life of Jesus, um, he doesn't view people as objects, but yet he shares his life with others. He invites the disciples into his life, and they become a part of his family. And in being a part of his family, they want to be about the work of the family in the world. And so they just don't do enough to get by. They want to do everything they can to help the family out. So I think I just want to encourage us as we continue to, to go about our, our work as leaders in the church, as folks that are part of Crossroads, as people who are watching this that are just a part of the, the greater church, um, that, that we're conscious about how we view and treat people um, that are within our midst better within our care because if people see themselves as objects whether consciously or subconsciously they're always going to act like volunteers but if we invite people into the family um, then they're going to do everything they can to help the family advance whatever the mission and vision is might be um, so just some thoughts this morning. It's been nice being with you. Um, we'll check back in with you later on. Thanks.